I blame it on weak men. That's the topic, the title of today's Daily Dose. Look, we are seeing hard times increase for so many around the world and also in our own nation. Why? Why are hard times showing up right now? Is it just a coincidence or is there something behind these hard times? Well, here's a quote that I believe helps us understand what's happening in our world right now. It goes like this. Hard times create strong men. Strong men create good times. Good times create weak men. And weak men create hard times. Look, in the book of Numbers, chapter 13, we run across some weak men. Ten of the twelve leaders of the nation of Israel who were sent into the promised land and charged with spying out the land in order to take the land, these ten men were weak men. Sure, they went into the promised land. They tasted the milk and the honey. They, they saw the bounty and the beauty of the land that God had promised them. But these men proved to be weak men as they feared the giants in the promised land more than they trusted God. And so the actions of these ten weak men created 40 years of hard times as an entire nation wandered in the wilderness and an entire generation died off in the desert outside the promises of God. So again, weak men create hard times. And weak men are creating hard times right now for us today. Weak men are bringing hard times to an entire nation And weak men are causing an entire generation to suffer as a result. Weak men are allowing women and children to be slaughtered, indiscriminately bombed, and become casualties of war in Ukraine. These weak men, these weak so-called world leaders, sit back in fear and cowardice as evil advances. It's, It's as the saying goes, the only thing necessary for the triumph of evil is for good men to do nothing. And there's a lot of nothing going on right now. Weak men, they're dangerous. And weak men create hard times. You know, in addition to the war that's going on right now in Ukraine and and the possibility of other worldwide conflicts, I mean, even nuclear is, is being mentioned, weak men are also bringing about financial hard times right here in our nation and around the world. What are they doing? They're allowing their political pressure, special interest groups to make the decisions, to call the shots. They're basically just pawns. They're afraid. In our nation, we see our oil and gas prices skyrocketing as weak men cower to politics instead of stepping up and providing and making the necessary calls and decisions to care for this nation. I mean, we got the oil right under our feet. It's there. It's been provided to us by God. But it's weak men who are creating these hard times. Remember that when you fill up next time, I mean, when I was at the gas pump, let's just look at this. When I was at the gas pump last time, it was ridiculous. Filling up my F-150, the tank typically stops because it reaches the maximum uh, allowed purchase price. I mean, it's that bad. Weak men. Weak men. You know, I see a sissification of so many men in our world today. I'm just being real. So many men are so weak. Sure, they can act tough in video games, but they're unwilling, they're unable to back away from their virtual reality and actually really fight for the weak and stand up for the fatherless. They're unwilling to do the heavy lifting and the hard stuff that's necessary. We have weak men in this nation. Weak men are narcissistic, self-absorbed with their social media status. What's the world thinking? Me coddled by their parents and our society that's telling them, oh, you're 25, but you're still just a boy. We're going to take care of you. We don't expect much from you. Sissification. Furthermore, so many young men have been told that they got to be more like girls. Man, you got to soften up, man. You got to tender, tenderize your heart and, and all of this kind of stuff. And we need, to be, we need to be respectful and we need to care, but we don't need to be 
Girls, come on, young men. We need to be men. We were created to be men, to be strong, to be warriors, to be providers. And for sure, the good times in our nation have created, unfortunately, a bunch of weak men who've been coddled. And so here we are. Weak men are now creating hard times. Here's my hope. That we would see a rise of strong men in this nation and around the world. See, we got to remember this. Just as weak men create hard times, hard times also create strong men. Historically, it's during hard times that the church gets stronger. Can I get an amen on that? It's during hard times that the Christian men step up and be the church, share the gospel, speak truth into culture, shine the light of Jesus in a dark and broken world. It's during hard times. During hard times that real men, Christian men, step up. And as a result, we see revival. We see the church grow. We see the gospel go forth. Sure, in the process of all of this, these strong men pay often a very high price for doing the hard things, the right things. Some even die. We call them martyrs. But it's the strong men of God that bring about, once again, the good times. The times of harvest. The times of salvation. The times of peace. Again, look at this quote. Hard times create strong men. Strong men create good times. Good times create weak men. And weak men create hard times. So, my prayer and my hope is that strong men will rise up today. Will you be one of them? Strong men. Strong men who rise up, who fear the Lord more than they fear man. Strong men who who stand up for righteousness. Strong men who are willing to lay down their own lives for others. So I want to encourage you. Be one of those strong men. Strong man of God.